Welcome back. The Lyrics always uh, has a huge schedule for plays, and they've just started their season up, and they have several plays that are in the works and several that's already been in the works and exactly. gone through, and if you've missed them, sorry for that. But uh, the next uh, play that's coming up real soon is called Summer in Smoke, and today we have with us three people that are involved in the play, and we want to start on this end and talk uh, and introduce Mary Crosley, also Brianna Hope, and Scott Wilson. Welcome to the Yo. show. Who wants to start off telling us about Summer and Smoke and why it was chosen to do at this particular time? I think you should. <laughs> okay, I'll do it. Uh, Summer and Smoke is uh, it's a place set in like 1915 to 1917 and in uh, Glorious Hill, Mississippi. And it, the playwright is Tennessee Williams, real cat on a hot tin roof, streetcar right, named Desire, right. uh, real, just my favorite playwright. And... Uh, it's one of Becca's too, and that's the reason she picked it because she just she wanted to do a drama. She'd been mm -hmm. doing musicals for so long, and she'd actually done this play I think when she was in college, ninety five or ninety six, something like that. Uh, but she wanted to do it again, you know, and uh, so it kind of worked out to where she slipped in the schedule, and and I really I read the play and I wanted to do you know I wanted to audition for the lead character mm -hmm. because it's just and you got it it fits yeah. And we're talking about Becca Wilson, who is your wife, and she's also the director of this production, mm -hmm. right? Right. Okay. Is she a slave driver? Yes. <laughs> but I love her for it. Well, she had, uh, I've worked with her, you know, not that extensively, but uh, she's a taskmaster and she wants perfection. And she and, gets and, it. And she gets it. And, and last year, if a lot of people came to Wizard of Oz, that was a production that uh, everyone in there put their heart and soul in, and, and it went on and on and on as far as the workload goes. But uh, I, I, it's, it's amazing to watch her work. Because she doesn't, I mean, she may look like she gets flustered, but she she handles all of it mm -hmm. more than I would. I'd want yeah. to go out and leave. You I know, bet you but. get a lot of it. I mean, I get, you know, the feedback. I do. Early. I do. We, and we talk about it a lot. But mm -hmm. she still handles it well even at home, yeah. you know. I mean, yeah. she's, but she's a, she's OCD about plays. I mean, she never stops directing. Yeah. I mean, you know, and that's the thing. That's what makes her show so great mm -hmm. is she never gets to a point that says, oh, you're fabulous and, you know, you can stop you can always keep getting better. Mm -hmm. And she does that with every aspect of the play, whatever play she's doing. Uh, what, what part do you play? Yeah. I play uh, Dr. John Buchanan. Um, okay. Kind of young, wild doctor, you know, womanizing, whatever. Uh, oh, fit your, oh. fit your normal life. Yeah, okay. you know, she typecasts me. <laughs> okay. And, uh, and anyway, I grew up next, uh, we grew up next door to each other. And this, she plays Alma. And anyway, we grew up next door to each other. And we're kind of opposite people. But yet come together and, and try to form a relationship, and it's just, uh, you know, dysfunctional to say okay. the least. And that's the way all these play, tennis yeah. plays are. It's just a lot of unique characters. And well, you were you were down at the Lyric, uh, not the Lyric, but that, down at Crawdad Days this weekend. Did you do the skit that, that you did? Uh, did you do a skit from this play? Did the skit. The one I saw that you did in the Lyric, the emotion went from... It, it it like shifted gears so many different times and so different so many moods in the in just two or three minutes. Yeah. yeah so is that is that the kind that. of the play this is? The the whole the whole play is that way. And and that's the thing, if you can really capture that about Tennessee, right. if you yeah. cannot take anything for granted in the play, it will blow you away. Just how much content is in it, you know. It, it's like that all the way through the play. And, well yeah. I was gonna say let's let Brianna talk a little bit about her character. Go ahead. Well um I am the pastor's daughter in, in this play, and uh, my my dear mother had a, a mental breakdown. And, is Mary then your yes, mother? Okay. Yes, yes. <laughs> Has this mental breakdown, and, and I end up with a whole lot of responsibilities and, and a lot of pressure as a, a, a teen mm -hmm. and grow up kind of um, isolated from the world next door to Crazy the partying doctor. womanizer <laughs> who I, uh, I, for an interesting yeah. I have had a crush on since I was like 10 years old. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and so it's, it's just this interesting dynamic mm -hmm. between the two of us. And, um, but it's, it's been a, a lot of fun. I, I was actually not all that familiar with Tennessee Williams before this play. Um, but you are now, though. <laughs> yeah. Yes, and I, I have really enjoyed reading his work and, and been um, very impressed. Okay. Well, and I want to know about the crazy mom. I mean, that has a breakdown. or Yeah, well, I don't actually have a breakdown on stage, per se. Okay. But, um, yes, I am Mrs. Weinmiller. I am the Reverend's wife and Elma's mother. 
And I do my best to give Alma a nervous breakdown. <laughs> hey, that should be. I get to play. I, I get to play a lot of comedic parts of the of the play, lighten it up a little bit. That's been fun, I'm it, sure. Yes, it has been lots of fun. It shifts gears quite a bit, like yeah. uh, you were saying earlier. The play can go from just being very, very dramatic, very intense, to you just all of a sudden start laughing. You might feel like you shouldn't be laughing, yeah. but that, that's what it's yeah. there for. So, yeah, I get to uh, needle uh, Alma quite a bit throughout oh, the show. Wow. For, for people that come to the play or, or deciding from this interview that they may or may not want to come to the play, what what will they? What's what, what's their feeling going to be well, gonna take while while part. they watch the play? I, I, that's probably hard, <laughs> but I mean, uh, are they are they going to? Uh, uh, are they going to re react to the characters, relate to them? Are they going to feel? Yeah, I believe they'll definitely. I, I believe they'll definitely relate to them. That's one thing. Tennessee Williams writes a lot about Southern people and stuff like that, yeah. and, and that's why I love it so much. Is because it really hits home, and and all the characters are very relatable. I mean, okay. and it's everything with, about these characters are, are little bits and pieces of what we all go through mm -hmm. in life, mm -hmm. and it's just magnified and intense and. Uh, it, it, it's a really great play. Okay. I mean, if okay. you've ever even thought about liking a drama, you're going to love this yeah. one for sure. Well, it's all about the writing, and it, and then mm -hmm. then it comes to be all about the the interpretation, uh, interpretation exactly. and act, actually the acting and how you bring that character. And uh, I've seen I've seen you work on stage, and uh, I think uh, people come; they'll be very very delighted with the performance. And tell us about when the performance yeah, is going to be, the details them. on Yeah, it'll be uh, June 7th and 8th at 7, I believe. Yes, um, and then Sunday the 9th at 2 o'clock. So it's going to run one, one weekend. weekend. Yeah, one weekend. Mm -hmm. And tickets are general admission on yeah, this 10 one? 10 or $12. I think it's $10 for uh, 12 maybe. It's $12, yeah. 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 Sorry about that. And, <laughs> and there's some discounts for seniors early. and, uh, and uh, students, yeah. Wonderful. Well, we appreciate you being here, and hopefully everybody will come out uh, to see Summer and Smoke. It's a Tennessee Williams play. And I'm sure if you want information or maybe to purchase tickets, you can call the OAC office, 391-3504. Hmm? So, sounds yep. good? Okay. <laughs> Thanks for being here. Thank right, you so you. much. Thank you. All right, good luck. All right, let's take another break, and we'll talk with uh, Cindy Haygood and talk about the Brandon Burlesworth football camp coming up real soon. Stay with us.